Good morning. Wanted to do a live video today because I've had a really interesting past week. Well, really, maybe 10 days. Or, you know, my family and I have been really busy moving and, um, you know, just everyday life drama and having kids is, is enough in itself sometimes. But, um, you know, things kind of outside of our control and things that we can control um, have transpired and, you know, I've grown and my family's grown and some people around me have grown and I think that that's a good enough reason to share some of that, right? Um, so I wanted to just talk about this morning really quick that you hear so much about, you know, surround yourself with positive people. Um, you know, only, you know, keep your circle small, only hang out with, you know, like-minded people or whatever the case may be. And I think really some of the light that's been shined on my steps in the past week is that's not always the case. You know, you're not always going to be able to pick and choose who you surround yourself with, um, who's around all the time, who you do business with even. There's going to be people that have different viewpoints. There's going to be people that, um, you know, see the world differently, um, especially personally and from, from a business perspective. So what I wanted to share just really quickly is my ear is glowing here. It's pretty cool. Um, we got to love Arizona with the sunshine. But anyways, I wanted to share, you know, that these people, you know, may, um, you know, bring a damper on the day. They may uh, fill a portion of your step or of your day or of your life with a cloud of negativity. But it's always up to you to not necessarily challenge that person, but stand up for what you believe in. You know, be firm with who you are. Uh, don't conform and... You know, put your foot down. Um, you know, life is, isn't is about, you know, forcing people to respect you. It's about um, building a reputation or earning their respect You know, by how you act, by how you respond, by how you treat them. And you're not always going to be able to control people. You can't change people anyways, for the most part, unless, you know, something drastically happens that you're a part of. And... You know, somebody may see things, see things more clearly, but you can control how you respond, how you say no, um, how you stand up um, for the morals or beliefs or values that you personally have. And every time that you don't, every time that you ignore it or you're quiet or um, you know maybe you don't call a meeting one on one with somebody and and you just act like everything is is okay, then you're just prolonging that conflict, you're extending that conflict, not necessarily prolonging it. And it impacts you and it impacts that person and it impacts everybody else that's involved. So, um, you know, I guess to wrap this up really quick, there's, there's no need to focus so much on who you surround yourself with because in most cases, those people are just gonna let you down. You put, you know, you invest so much time in these certain people that you think are perfect for your circle or situation and so, sometimes it doesn't work out so you just need to be able to stand firm for who you are what your identity is what you believe in um, and not be ashamed of that not be afraid to be vulnerable and be honest and not be afraid that you're going to hurt somebody's feelings because if they know it's coming from your heart and it's something that you're not necessarily going to change and that that's okay and they'll respect you for it and hopefully that softens some of the blows you know that they're delivering to people or maybe it helps them see that that's something that they need to invest into so you know nothing really to do with the business I guess today for the pre-focus not really a tip or anything but something that's heavy on my heart um, you can't change the world um, but you could change the way you treat the world so be purposeful with everything you do and always remember to pre-focus Thank <laughs> you.